Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here on Bloxburg again, of course. And last week we did a video where we was looking at Pinterest bedrooms and then we recreated the ones that we think that we could make in Bloxburg. And today we're going to be doing the exact same thing, but we're just not going to be doing normal bedrooms. We're going to be doing kids' bedrooms. And one thing that I've noticed between kids' bedrooms and just normal bedrooms is I feel like with the adult bedrooms, they're very simplistic, you know, minimalistic is very in at the moment, lots of plants and things. But the kids' bedrooms were like, I wasn't expecting to see a lot of these rooms like the rooms on there are just like amazing like they do have the simple ones too but i mean like some of the ones i saw in it was like magical and i really want to see if i could recreate it so i have a build for you guys today so i was testing out if i could make this before i even started recording so the picture that i found on pinterest was this one and it's like a little princess kind of castle bed so it's almost like it's got the stairs and when i saw the stairs i was like oh my gosh they have named Bloxburg. So they made me want to see if we could do this today and i think i got it as close as i possibly can to it as you can see, it's over here is where I was building it. So obviously this is a lot bigger. Right, so just like in the picture, it has like the two swirly stairs that go round. It has like the bed in the middle here. And it has like two bookshelf type things for the kids to put their things on. When you come inside here, I was thinking actually I might change my mind and I might make the bed go to the side. Because if I put the bed to the side instead of coming out like this, I could put like a TV or something on the wall. And I feel like that would be really cool. And then if you come upstairs... Then this is a place where, you know, the kids can have toys. I'm going to put some toys on the side here and they can just like sit there and play, making it like useful and stuff. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think you could do different things with this. You could have like a slide coming down one side. You could just have like, I've seen some of them on Pinterest where they have like all different ones. But this is just the one I picked for today. And I'm going to be doing other style rooms. But this was such a kind of bigger build than my last ones that it was, I know that I must have just do it in a different video. <gasps> Excuse me, lady. I will not adopt you, okay? No, no, no. Get out of my bed. Look, she's going in there. She knows Oh, actually, I forgot to say, and up here, it's like these decals that I made. So I made all of the decals that are on the wall. Like, it's kind of simple. It's just like a Photoshop. Just got on pink. Because in the picture, it has like this pink background with just like little multicolored colored dots on there. And then, the same for that. So I put it all around. And then for this part, I just made little castles on Photoshop not hard it wasn't very hard to make um actually to be honest i think this is kind of dodgy i don't think it looks that good i used the windows from the dollhouse i made and yeah but i just thought you know from far away i think it looks quite good you know you can see where it is and that's the main thing but yeah anyway i'll stop talking and just show you guys how i made it Okay, so now this is all finished, we're going to fill the room with other stuff to make it actually look like a room rather than just like this bed castle thing. So I'm going to add some other things. I'm going to add the doll's house and things like that. I'm going to add a little table where they can play, have tea parties, clothes, a desk, things like that. Oh, this is something else I was trying to do, like a little castle kind of tower thing. It was another thing I saw on Pinterest, but I didn't add in any um, any decals or anything, so it doesn't look too good. But I was thinking they could have like a little tower version. 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave this wool blank. I'm gonna put the rest of the wallpaper up on this side and the rest of the wallpaper up on this side so it matches. But then I'm gonna have this blank because I have a different decal and also because I wanna put things on the wall that I wanna put the doll's house in again. So let me just do the wall, rest of the wallpaper. actually so much easier now to make the doll's house than it used to be because of the fact that you can copy and paste now so that actually wasn't as hard and as tedious as it was back in the day which is pretty cute that's basically like an updated version of it all right so let's get a decal for the first one the windows which is the same windows that i use for the tower up here so actually it matches and then the door i'll have all the decals down below Every time I say that, people still say, where's the decals? But they're always in the description. Right, and then the roof is, oh, I didn't put the things the things in the middle, like to build it up a little bit, but oh well, I can't bother to do that. You guys know how to, well, if you guys want to see how to properly make it, then just go to my tutorial. I'll leave it down below where I properly explain it. But now you can do a copy and paste thing, so you don't have to completely do it one by one, which is cool. All right, and there's the doll's house there, the bed there. I think I'm going to put some other things that will be needed like a wardrobe and then maybe a desk and things like that and then I'm going to put a thing there for the tea party. I also made like a decal which has really nice roses on it. That looks cute. There's something going on in the corner. I mean it's nothing too, like nothing really going on. Just something there but I don't know. I think that adds to it a little bit. Okay and then we're going to put in the rest of the stuff which isn't too much. I think the hardest part has already been done. Alright, and then we're going to put a little table in the middle, a round one. I know this is a very, very, very pink room, but the room that I was looking at is very, very pink. So, <laughs> I know pink isn't everyone's taste. I know when I was a kid, I was more of like a, I was, my favourite colour was more blue. But, obviously, this is the theme of the room, and in other ones I'm going to do, they'll have different themes. Like, I want to do one that's like a rock climbing kind of room. I saw that and I thought that's really cool. Or, if you do like the look of it, you could always make a different color version it doesn't have to be the same color as mine okay so i did show you guys me making the rest of the room but then my recording software decided to not work at the ending of that video sometimes if my videos are too long it uh it just cuts out or the audio will go funny and things like that which is kind of annoying but luckily the last finishing touches i did to the room were just really simple things that you guys can do anyway you don't really need a tutorial on how to put down tables and chairs or like wardrobes and things but, but yes when you first come into the room you turn to the left and then there's the doll's house with the little decal behind it. Toys to play with. There's loads of books on there. I know it thinks pink. I know it's pink. But it's one of those things. When the theme's already pink, you might as well just go the whole the whole way. And over here is a desk to go in Roblox, you know. And I put these lamps about. I've got quite a few. One, two. I think it was four of those about. But yeah. And I know the lights don't look that great because I kind of just scattered them around. But obviously you guys will do this a lot neater than I will. And then there is the wardrobes. This is where people come over for tea parties. 
But yes, I just want to add some more things in to make it like an actual room rather than just a bed there. This is the final result. So let me know if you guys are going to make this. Um, I know it's a bit of an extra thing, but I saw it on Pinterest and I was just like, I want to make it, you know? So the whole point of the videos is recreating things that I've seen on Pinterest and this is the one I've done. So let me know if you think I've done a good job. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you do want to see that. So I'll probably be uploading other ones this week. Also, also thank you to the people who've been using my star code. I really appreciate it. And of course I appreciate anyone who likes my videos or subscribes to my videos or even just watches my videos. Like it all means so much to me. So thank you guys so much. And yes, thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.